Welcome back to DBL. In today's Chatting with the Stars, two of Future Man's main characters dish about season two, which is such a good show. It just started streaming on Hulu today. But first, here's a look at some of the wild antics the cast is getting into now as they try to prevent the extinction of humanity. Stop. Hey. Die resistance. Stop! Eliza Coop and Derek Wilson, yeah. thank you so much for joining DBL and congratulations, honestly, and Mazel Tov for the second season of Future Man. Bravo. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Now, the show picks up in the year 2162. <laughs> Eliza, you play Tiger, and Derek, you play Owl yes. Wolf. Now, is it safe to say that this season sure. is going to get even more bizarre than the first? Yeah, it gets way more bizarre. I mean, it depends on what your standards are. That's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. we're allowed even more license in season two because it takes place in the future, so we can be completely creative yeah, we don't, yeah. with what the world is. It's amazing. Yeah. Now, Seth Rogen, who is one of the producers of Future Man, actually makes an appearance this season. Can you guys tell us more about his role in the show? Uh, he plays a man named Susan, and that's just a normal name in the future. Normal. He runs a prison. Runs a prison of sorts. Susan yeah. runs yeah. the prison. That's We're it. Yeah. Little old tough Susan. Yeah. Eliza, your character is a biotic. So in other words, someone who has been genetically engineered. Now, do either of you believe that humans will have to be modified to survive in the future? feel they already have been. Yeah, Ooh. I think it's happening. Well, we've already modified so much about ourselves, whether it be aesthetically or internally. I mean, we're in Los Angeles, too. So. Yeah, I was there for 10 years. Yeah, I modified everything. I completely understand. <laughs> ah. <laughs> if both of you could choose one item to put into a time capsule to be opened 100 years into the future, what would it be and why? I would put a journal that I've written oh, about nice. this time. Oh, wow, that's good. Handwritten. A helium balloon. Oh, God. Oh, whoa, tell me that more. That just so checks out. It just checks out that you would say oh, that. Just yeah. So when it opens, it, you get a nice balloon pop up. It would be a deflated balloon. People would think it was something else. You're giving them a rubber. I think it was great. It was the thought that counts, too. I think the journal and the balloon is fantastic. Eliza and Derek, I'm a huge fan yeah. of the show. And I really do appreciate you guys taking the time out to talk with DBL. Thanks so much for being here. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. It's a yellow balloon. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I was picturing red. <laughs>